So I wanted to do kind of a quick uh, how-to video this morning. Um, I see a lot of people on, I see these home improvement shows and uh, a lot of things online where people seem to really struggle with something that's pretty basic, which is removing a toilet. Um, working on a house here and we're getting the floors redone. And I can either pay my um, flooring contractor $200 to have them pull the toilets or I can spend a few minutes and do it myself. And I'm kind of naturally frugal, so if I can spend 200, if I can save $200, I'm going to do that. So I just thought I'd run through a quick process. <clears throat> I see people uh, dumping water all over their feet, doing dumb things like taking sledgehammers to toilets and breaking them apart, um, separating the bowl from the tank, which is really unnecessary. And so I just thought I'd show you real quick how I do it, kind of the clean and easy way. So the first thing always is to flush the toilet. Make sure we've gotten any water, any easy, easy water out. And I like to use the tub to store things. So we want to make sure we get the water turned off. Loosen the supply line. Actually, before I do that, secret weapon in this process which is shop vac. Take your shop vac and just suck out the extra water. This is water that if you leave it in here, no matter what you do, it's gonna be all over the floor, it's gonna be all over your feet. And this takes um, takes 10 seconds, makes the job way cleaner. <laughs> Now by doing that simple process, get that out of the way. I've eliminated 90% of the mess in this job, so we can go back to removing the supply line. Cats. And yeah, it's a little dirty, it's a toilet, but it's not the end of the world. It's a way we have soap. A lot of times you're gonna run into these knots are going to be all rusted off and this isn't a very old house that I'm working on so fortunately fortunately these nuts aren't rusted up it's really hard doing this backwards when I'm trying to Keep it so the camera can see. Otherwise, it'd be in a little different angle here. But anyway, sometimes these things will be really rusted. Actually, it's pretty common. That can be the biggest challenge here. And if you're into that, um, you can use a use a hacksaw 
just cut them off, you'll be replacing them later when you reinstall the toilet anyway. Or, I actually like to use a Dremel. A Dremel with a cutoff bit is the quickest and easiest way that I've found to take these off. I just take a, this is just a, just a garbage bag that I cut in half and I just throw a chunk of it in the, um, in the bathtub. I've got two toilets to do, so I have one bag, so I cut them off. So at this point we've got our supply lines loose, we've got our toilet bowl, uh, bolts are loose. Just gotta give it a little rock, pick it up. There is there's not even a drop of water anywhere. And then make sure you get your wax ring always has to your place, so I just use a basic putty knife. Try to get that up in as big of a chunk as you can. Keep a bag handy. There we go. Took me, looks like about six minutes. That's probably because I was talking to you. So it's a quick process, it's an easy process, and it doesn't have to be a messy process. So good luck. Bye.